What's good guys, it's Friendly Nations here and I'm here with another Magic the Gathering video. We got our first box of Modern Horizons. Uh, this is currently June 13th. This was the last day of E3. One day before the official release of the uh, card set. And I got a little bit of the swag that I got at E3. Quickly just going to go over it. Just because it's you know pretty cool collector collector's memorabilia. Got the Pokemon Sword and Shield pins. Got a little uh, code to redeem for Elder Scroll Scrolls Online. And that also came with a, a collectible coin and a little bracelet. Also, uh, they had popcorn with like the logos from uh, Fortnite and stuff. And I just asked for one of the bags just, just to you know, have in the collection. They also did the uh, um, axe again, the pickaxe like they did last year. And they also did a cut this year which actually said Slurp Juice on it. So very, very cool stuff. Anyways, let's get right into the box. So as I said, this is going to be my first box I open here on the channel. I do have three more boxes coming in courtesy of uh, Alpha Investments, aka Rudy. I did get in on that first pre-order that he did, and so um, we'll definitely be showing that. Unfortunately, um, the local shop that I got this from was out of the uh, promo for the buy a box promos by the time that I had placed my order, so it is what it is. Uh, no promo for this, but very cool build out. This actually very much reminds me of when you do the fat packs. Um, just because it has the same type of thing where it has the poster on the inside. So, very cool. I wonder if these have different artwork on each. I guess I will find out soon enough when the other boxes come in, but I kind of feel like that might be the case. Different posters with each box. We'll have to wait and see. Um, just this random flap here, and this is what the box looks like. In the front and the back. And yeah, definitely more of a premium price to this box com compared to most. About double the price, actually maybe even a little bit more. Um, each pack uh, suggests retail, I think is around eight bucks compared to the usual like three bucks or four bucks. So definitely more on the pricier end. We'll see if the pools justify that. There are like hollow tokens and uh, stuff like that. Speaking of which, the very first pack, I did get a hollow token right there, as well as art cards. So that's something kind of uh, unique to the set and you get your snow covered lands as well and there is the potential for the hollow snow cover covered land so here's our first rare of the uh, box right here starting off uh, with our first rare and then the uncommons as usual so it is pretty nice how it does have the rares then uncommons pretty much at the front just to kind of speed up the whole uh, box opening videos rather than having to sort through um, you know all the commons or whatever I guess I'll just keep all the tokens together whether they're hollow or not. And Plains is our next snow covered land and uh, we got a nice little collector just like Frenelation's the collector right there. Kind of looks like me a little bit too. A little troll looking guy. <laughs> and so that that is what that is. And yeah, very very cool cards uh, throughout the set. I did go through uh, to a pre-release uh, about a week ago now. Had a lot of fun with that. Uh, <laughs> Wasn't too successful in the pre-release, but it was a lot of fun. So definitely something I do plan on doing again. Um, you know, as I have, oh, nice. Starting off with an amazing pool. Uh, Force of Negation right here. Uh, that is a rare, but it is up there as far as value. Basically at that point, pretty much like a mythic. Uh, very cool. Of course, based off of Force of Will, there's some cards that are exact uh, reprints and other cards that are just little tweaks some of the uh, older cards and stuff like that and again with this set um, this is Modern Horizon so these cards actually aren't used in standard uh, they're for other formats and stuff like that modern being the main one that uh, it was announced for by Phil Lake um, uh, what's it called commander is also gonna have a lot of use for these cards and stuff like that so very very cool stuff very happy about uh, the force of uh, negation to be honest this was like the main card I wanted out of the set uh, back in the day I did have some signed copies of uh, Force of Will I think three copies but uh, I did sell those many years ago uh, but yeah very cool another shiny token this time it's a shiny squirrel <laughs> very cool more art cards uh, snow covered land and we did get our uh, first mythic right here seasoned pyromancer very cool as well as our uncommons as we get through this probably won't even be showing the uncommons too much just mainly the rares and stuff but since it is a new set i figured i should at least uh show a little glance at them so you guys can see them 
But yeah, shout outs to the shiny squirrel though. Very cool. Definitely hoping to collect uh, all of the art cards and stuff. Nice, we got our first hollow and it is a rare at that. So very cool. It's an enchantment. Discard a land card. Uh, create a 2-2 two, two green bear creature token. So let me go ahead and sleeve this up as well. Our first hollow was a rare. We got one mythic. We also got another note uh, worthy rare and also a rare land. Nice. So very good pack right here and we're starting off this box on a very high note I would definitely say. So very cool. Very cool right there. I'm pretty sure the rare lands are going for a decent amount too, like around you know 15 to 20 bucks each. I don't know which one is the most valuable out of them, but still very noteworthy uh, the the value on those lands. Also wouldn't mind getting a hollow snow covered land. A rare right there. Lots of uh, slivers in the set. And during draft, this was a, a card that definitely is quite powerful. Um, it's basically a 4-4 four, four for uh, two drops. So very, very cool stuff with that. And we got a spider hollow. It looks like a lot of these token hollows at the very top, there's a smudge just like right out of the pack, which is kind of weird. All right, we did get another hollow right here. It is a common hollow. And we got our, let's set this aside, um, Archmage Charm, very cool, as our rare. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, very interesting to see. Uh, I don't know how many mythics we're gonna pull. I've seen boxes where there's only two, boxes where there's five. So it's definitely all over the place. We have one so far, and you know we're definitely hoping for a five mythic box here just to kind of even it out a bit. Um, and we got our legendary land, which is our rare for this pack. Very cool. Oh, I definitely remember this card from back in the day as well. So it's very cool to see a lot of these reprinted cards or even cards that are inspired off of some of the older cards, stuff like that, so. Uh, and now we're already starting to see some of the cards from uh, Core 2020. They've been, you know, leaking some of the cards. Most notably, uh, Chandra. It looks like she has three different rarities and three different versions of the card. A rare, a mythic, and an uncommon. So, something that seems pretty unique for sure. Our uh, common hollow right here. And our rare human soldier right there. As well as our three uncommons for this pack right here. So about halfway through the first half of the box and so far one mythic one hollow rare and one super note worthy rare um a decent little start i would say a shapeshifter token right there yeah definitely want all the different art cards Ooh, nice so i'm pretty sure this is one of the more valuable lands right here prismatic vista very cool rare land probably uh, around that 20 dollar price range right there very cool goblin card. I like the artwork on that one. It reminds me a lot, actually, of uh, if you played World of Warcraft during Cataclysm, uh, my goblin priest had a uh, uh, like outfit or a set that looked very similar to that. So it very much reminds me of the goblins from World of Warcraft back in Cataclysm. A lot of the cloth wears. It had pretty much the same uh, skin and then just different colors as far as like the way that the, uh, the costume looked. So our uncommon rare right here. And we did get another rare land. Very cool. So definitely been getting a bunch of the rare lands. Another uncommon land to go with that. So very nice. This box is treating us well as far as the rare lands go. We've already gotten like I think three. So always a good look. Alright, snow covered island. Inling is our rare. Everdream, that's our uncommon right there, along with two others. So yeah, at the uh, pre-release event, I did make a red-black deck, and the very first game I was super pumped. I won 2-0, and oh. we got a Hollow Angel token. 2-0, and oh, I was like, ooh, this is easy, about to win this whole thing. <laughs> My next two matches, I went 0-2. Zero, <laughs> zero and two. So yeah, that's how that goes sometimes. We got our second Mythic right here. Very cool artwork on that one. Morphon the Boundless. 
Here's our second mythic of the box. Awesome artwork too on pretty much all of these uh, uncommons out of this pack. Very, very cool arrangement. Two mythics. I didn't even sleeve the other one. In the first half, we'll see if we can keep that up. Two mythics in each half, I'd be okay with that even. I, I know it's not the five that we've seen on the higher end, but I definitely don't want just two mythics out of the box. It'd be uh, very disappointing with that higher price point for sure. Bizarre Trade Mage is our rare out of this pack. Urza's Rage, uncommon right there. Like the artwork on that one as well. Lots of really cool cards in here uh, in this set. Very interested to see uh, what else we get as far as hollows and stuff like that. Only time will tell. And we do have three more boxes, like I said, so I'm sure we'll get to see a bunch of the cards from this set, which is always awesome. It's always awesome opening the new sets and checking out all the new cards and stuff. Definitely going to be reading through them and stuff off camera and just kind of get an idea of, you know, the power level of this set. Alright, Soldier Token, Our artwork, we got another Hollow, uh, Snow Covered Mountain, and we got an Iceberg Common uh, Hollow, uh, rare for the set right there. Rebuild is one of our uncommons, last pack of this half of the box. I would say so far so good, honestly. We've gotten four or five noteworthy cards. Bunch of the hollow uh, tokens. So one of the games I played uh, against, uh, what's it called, the pre-release, someone pulled this sword out on me. It basically uh, makes it so that you can't be blocked or anything like that or dealt damage by red or black and that's what my deck was. So that game was a lot of fun to say the least. <laughs> There's like nothing I could do against this creature. I got an elf druid as a rare right here. Crypt Rats, definitely another familiar artwork for sure. All right, that's that first half, guys. We'll see if the second half could be as kind. I definitely feel like we did pretty decent, especially with the lands and stuff. We, yeah, maybe even better than decent, I would say. We got our Force of Negation, we got our two Mythics, we got our Hollow Rare, two or three Hollow Lands. Yeah, we definitely made out with the first half of the box for sure. See if we can keep that coming. We did get another um, hollow, unfortunately, it is a common. Force of Vigor is our rare. And we did get an uncommon land right there. So, yeah, definitely a decent amount of hollows so far. Most of which have been common, but you know, a hollow is still a hollow. Very cool, nevertheless. Snow covered island. Uh, Crashing Footfalls is our rare. Goblin Matron. Definitely uh, definitely remember this card from back in the day, but brand new artwork, I'm pretty sure. Right. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have been pulling. Uh, any amazing noteworthy pulls, let me know in the comments below. Our rare altar and our uncommons right here. Alright, we've got to place bets, guys. How many mythics are going to be in this box? Just the two we have now, or are we going to end up with four or five? Let me know. Let me know. Ooh, if we could pull her as a mythic, that would be great. No complaints would be made at all. Tectonic Reformation is our rare. Yeah, I really mess with the artwork in this set. It, it looks very, very top notch. As I'm looking at all the cards spread out, definitely, uh, definitely digging the artwork. Snow Covered Swamp. Force of Despair is our rare. Tribal Mage and a few other uncommons right there. Oh, nice. Another hollow token. I don't believe we had that one before. Ooh, Force of Rage. Looking real cool. 
This might be my favorite artwork so far. Horse of Rage. Not uncommon. Alright. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on when my other uh, other boxes come in. You can probably see it. I'll probably post it on like the uh, YouTube stories uh, when the shipment comes in. That way you guys will have a little bit of a heads up as to when uh, the video is coming up. And we got our third mythic, guys. Not bad. Mythic number three. This box is definitely uh, treating us nicely. Very, very kind of this box. Blessing us with the mythics and the hollows that we want. So, not bad. So many hollow tokens. We'll see what happens to these things down the line. If there's any uh, value to them or anything like that. Cabal uh, Therapist. This was the one of the early leaked cards. Very cool. Sick artwork on that one too. So apparently there's going to be a new format to how promos are done. There's going to be, I think they're called like premium packs or promo packs or something like that. Starting with Core 2020, so definitely going to keep an eye out for that. Future Sight is our rare. And then those packs are going to have two different variants where there's going to be like a premium version of it where every card in it is hollow and then a non-premium version. And there's a certain layout to the packs. Definitely recommend you guys look up the info on that. Uh, different lands, different like cards from that set, different cards from other sets or something like that. So definitely seems like a unique concept and they're trying to switch things up. So very cool. Fallen Shinobi. Sick artwork on that one. Little undead zombie ninja right there, Fallen Shinobi. All right, about halfway through that last half of the box, we did get one mythic from this side so far. Oh, we got another rare land, guys. Very nice. I think this is our fourth. Pretty sure most of those have decent value too, so that's just bringing up the value of the box right there. Which I can never complain about. Alright, we got a token bird, sliver artwork, snow covered island, and scrapyard is our rare. Got some uncommon lands here as well as an artifact. Soldier token, artwork, we did get a hollow. It's been a while since we got one of these and it's another common hollow right here. Ooh, nice. Ranger, Captain of Eos is our fourth mythic out of the box. Nice, 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 nice. Much better than some of the videos I saw where people were only getting two mythics, guys. I definitely would have been very bummed, especially like I said, this box has a higher price point than usual almost double, actually double a little bit more, so uh, to get less <laughs> mythic value than usual would have been very, very disappointing. You gotta even question how they even allowed that to happen at that point with, with this higher uh, price point. Here's our rare. Uncommons, you guys have already seen. A lot of the uncommons at this point, most of them are duplicates, so you can kind of fly by those. It's really the rares and mythics and hollows that we're looking for here. Let's be honest. Elemental token. Bunch of swords in the sky. <laughs> for the artwork on that. Yeah, our rare. Okay, final few packs guys. Let me know in the comments below. Will we get our final mythic or is that it? Are we tapped out at four? Which I wouldn't complain about. Four is pretty decent. Five is better, but four is pretty decent. Zombie token. Artwork, planes, and our rare for the pack. Hillage, Twisted Reflection. All right, two more packs, guys. I'm crossing my fingers here. I'm, I'm hopeful for another mythic. 
We got a bear token hollow. Snow covered plains. We did get a rare sliver too. That's not a mythic one. That'd be crazy. I think the mythic one's like 30 bucks or something like that. Getting them all turned around. All right, last pack guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is just the first of four total Modern Horizons boxes. So stay tuned for the other boxes. I think we got both of the sword artworks now. We did get a uh, snow covered mountain. We got a uncommon hollow and we got a fifth mythic guys. Speaking of the sword, did we just pull the same sword? We did. We pulled the artwork for him and the mythic of the uh, fire and ice sword. Very cool, very Game of Thrones esque right there. Great way to end the, bo uh, yeah, the box opening. Five mythics guys. We'll run through a lot of the highlights right now. Let's start with the mythics. One, two, three, four, five mythics. Okay. Here's our five mythics out of the box. Very cool. Huge fan of the sword. It looks very awesome just artwork wise alone, uh, let alone playability and everything. Then we have our rare hollow and our noteworthy hollow, which is force of negation. So seven noteworthy pools, a bunch of uh, lands that were worth it and stuff like that. So overall, I definitely say the box uh, was worth it. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace. Stay tuned uh, for more Modern Horizons openings. Peace, guys.